James 3 3. And this is a scripture everybody either knows or you need to know it. You need to know it. We put bits in the horses' mouths that they may obey us. And we turn about their whole body. Behold, the ships, which though they're so great and are driven by fierce winds, they're turned about with a very small helm, whithersoever the governor lists us. James also said, the person who doesn't offend in word is a perfect person. I told you about the battle being in the mind, but the mind is, is subject to our words. We think about what we say. That's why it's important to speak the word out, because we'll think about what we're saying. Amen. The tongue is the rudder of your body and your whole being. And your direction in life is determined by the words that you're saying. Now, I'm listening to people today. And a lot of the churches that I've circulated in for many, many years, and the conferences and the, and the different groups and individual churches, people I know well, people I love, don't talk the way they used to talk. A few years ago, we talked faith. And if you weren't talking faith, someone would correct you and say, is that your confession, brother? Is that your confession, sister? And we all helped one another correct our speech. It was important. We learned of the power of words. That possession brings, uh, confession brings possession. And you can have what you say. And I know so many people who used to be dyed in the wool, zealous, word of faith people, talk trash every day. They talk negativity every day. They talk politics every day. They talk conspiracy theories every day. They have focused on non-issues and made issues out of them. They've made mountains out of molehills, and these mountains get bigger and bigger because they keep talking about it and regurgitating what the pundits on the news are saying. If you're going to quote someone, quote Jesus. If you're going to quote somebody, quote the Apostle Paul. If you Amen. want to repeat the Amen. news, Preach repeat that. the good news and stop letting Amen. that stuff come out of your mouth. It's the devil's work. He has hijacked the mouth yes. of Christians around the world. Don't let him hijack Praise your God. mouth. God wants to put his words in your mouth. He's anointed you to release those words into the world. And if you release the Amen. devil's words, you're doing the devil's work. Can Amen. I make that clear? Can Amen. I make that more plain? Amen. We Amen. are called Lord, help us, to Jesus. preach the gospel, the good news, hope, faith, love, peace, joy. And a lot of people say, well, you know, that's just a little Pollyanna. That's just so naive. You know, you got to wake up and see. I see what's going on in the world, maybe better Amen. than a lot of people see what's going on, because behind all those conspiracies, I do see a conspiracy, a master conspiracy, and the devil is pulling strings of his puppets around the world and getting them to do his work while he sits back laughing at the church in derision. The church has moved away from their commission and they've gotten so embroiled in political dialogue and, and mainstream politics and, and they all have their little 15 minutes of fame where they can stand behind their pulpit and instead of using their pulpit to cheer people up and to encourage them and give them a little hope and a little peace during hard times, they add insult to injury. My and Lord, people help. come out of church more burdened and more depressed. Give Preach me some pastor. good news preachers. Give Help me this, some Lord. people Help who that. have the love of Jesus in their Amen. heart. Give me some people who have the ability to edify and build up and increase our faith. Yes. Amen. I don't go Preach. to, church to, Preach. I don't go to Amen. church to listen to yeah. people vent. I go to church to listen Amen. to people magnify the Lord. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> 
And I mean every word of it. Praise God. Yes. I am a good news preacher. I'm not a prophet of doom Hallelujah. and gloom. I read the back of the book. We win. We're more than conquerors through Jesus. We can do all things through Jesus. He delivers us out of every temptation and every trial. He wins. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We've got to let our we've got to let our speech line up with what the word says, and it will change yes. our thoughts. And that'll change our, our body and our emotions. But the most important thing is the tongue because it's the bridle that moves the horse. A horse is a big, strong beast. And your emotions are big and strong. But what you say with your mouth will change the direction of those feelings. Mm -hmm.